long, healthy life. In recent years, we've come a long way towards fulfilling this age-old dream of mankind, thanks to the achievements of modern medicine. But this very success also creates a host of new challenges for medicine. People are growing older and older, and as a result, the number of age-related illnesses is also on the rise. Our diet is different from that of our grandparents, resulting in obesity and an increase in metabolic disorders. And the trend towards high-risk recreational sports is persisting, with potential hazards ranging from fractures to severe internal injuries. Tomorrow's medicine must confront these changes in modern society today. Here in Telto on the outskirts of Berlin, key foundations for this are being established. At the Center for Biomaterial Development, scientists are studying high-tech materials for tomorrow's medicine. Their aim is to replace diseased or damaged tissue and cells, even entire organs, for a limited period of time using novel biomaterials. By assisting the body's powers of self-repair, they give it a chance to heal and regenerate itself. This is the great challenge facing regenerative medicine. At our center, we're developing new therapeutic approaches for treating diseases that are widespread within the general population. We tackle these challenges by designing novel biomaterials. Biomaterials which are tailored to the specific application, which are not rejected by the body, and which allow the organism to regenerate itself completely. Take, for example, biomaterials used to make artificial bones for tackling major bone defects to cover and completely regenerate large areas of damaged skin, poorly healing wounds or burns, or systems which specifically release vital active agents into the body over prolonged periods of time. Also novel surgical meshes for closing hernias, which do not remain in the abdominal cavity but instead dissolve by themselves. A biocompatible artificial ureter that allows kidney and bladder function to be maintained in case of tumors, for instance. Even entire artificial arteries are being developed by the biomaterial scientists. In Telto, fascinating new developments are taking place in every laboratory. Take this novel biomaterial, for example. When a magnetic field is applied, it changes to a new, specific shape. In addition to developing materials with specific properties, a key is to provide them with extended functionality. Here's a material that can take on three shapes. At first, it unfolds, and then its anchors are deployed. If both actions occurred in a single step, the anchors would not fit through the opening. Researchers who are developing medicine for the world of tomorrow need plenty of creative imagination. Without it, they could never develop materials with astonishing properties, whose unlimited fields of application we can only guess at today. Understanding and imitating nature's design principles, that is ultimately what all departments at the Telto Center are about. Here, for example, a bone substitute for the future is being developed. It's only through progress in organic chemistry that truly biomimetic materials can be designed and developed, materials that emulate nature. For instance, we've developed gelatine-based materials to be used in bone regeneration. Our materials have markedly different properties from normal gelatine. They are dimensionally stable and biocompatible, and they dissolve over time once they are inside the bone. The difference is particularly clear in a water bath. At 37 degrees, normal gelatine instantly dissolves. But not the promising new material developed by the Helmholtz researchers, a crucial step forward. Telto scientists have also been able to make crucial advances in the field of tissue engineering. This revolutionary technology allows human tissue to be grown even outside the body, on scaffolds and membranes made of biomaterials, which is essential for the treatment of severe skin injuries. One of the key areas of research at our center is skin. When our skin is injured, two competing processes take place, the repair program, which typically leads to scar formation, and regeneration, which should lead to the skin being fully restored. Our cell-specific biomaterials allow us to assist the growth of the skin cells, leading to complete skin regeneration, and with that, a better outcome for the patient. The scientists also look for new ways to fight against arteriosclerosis. 
In advanced arteriosclerosis, the implantation of a coronary stent is simply not adequate. Here, the affected vessel must be completely replaced using a bypass. This is a real challenge. Internal surfaces must be biomimetic. The blood cells have to believe they are flowing past the walls of a real blood vessel. The elasticity and permeability must be extremely similar to those of real vessels, and the implant must be very well integrated into the surrounding tissue. And this is what it looks like when artificial arteries are grown in a laboratory. Plenty of know-how, sophisticated technology and countless experiments are necessary to unravel the mysteries of Mother Nature. In making artificial blood vessels, we're trying to emulate the design principles of nature. And the Institute provides us with ideal conditions for achieving this goal, even though it still lies in the distant future. A key to the international success of the Telto Center is its collaboration with practicing clinicians. Working in association with doctors at Berlin Charité, they are intent on improving the present-day synthetic meshes used in hernia surgery. Hernia surgery has been revolutionized over the past 20 years. For one thing, minimally invasive or keyhole surgery has minimized the scale of the intervention. And the development of synthetic meshes has enabled the so-called tension-free repair of hernias. Thanks to these synthetic meshes, we see fewer relapses or new hernias. However, a foreign material is left behind in the patient's body for years or decades. That's why we would like biomaterial scientists to develop a synthetic or biomaterial that on the one hand provides support, but which is degraded completely in the course of several months, so that no foreign material remains inside the body. A request that the researchers in Talto are sure to fulfill, just like the hopes that innovative entrepreneurs are placing in top-class research from Germany. Research is very important to us, because as a medium-sized company, we have to think of the future, of course, and we can only assert ourselves in the market, which is a highly competitive market, through research and new products. Biomaterials for tomorrow's medicine. The scientists at the Helmholtz Center in Telto are playing in the top international league. To make sure it stays that way, they are already planning for the future. New labs are to be built, equipped with premium analytical technology, a high-tech campus, a perfect home for new companies and startups. The expanding center in Telto offers perfect conditions for establishing the foundations of a new era in medicine. Ideal conditions for creative minds from all over the world and their visionary ideas for a better future.